in this video i will show you how to make boho goddess box braid without any extension guys extension now you know <laughs> the price will be going up but here in this video this is just how to make your hair without extensions and still still look chic still look you know pretty and whatnot and so this is the boho goddess box braid so let's get started um remember to subscribe if you do enjoy this video and make sure to click the like button and comment in the comment section whatever you want to say all right let's get right into it so i go ahead to just petition my hair into the front and to the back and then i go to the back of the head to actually begin the um, braid okay so yes it's a box braid okay it's a box braid and this is a diy in case you are doing a diy for yourself okay sometime you know you might not have the pattern so clean you can use extra mirrors and whatnot or if you have someone to help you with and now this is the box braid okay i'm just showing you guys how i start you can see it's clearly my hair no extension is used okay so i just go ahead the three strand method of course for braids the three strand method to start and then i just begin to braid my hair okay and just braid it as gently as possible and you can even slow down this video if you want to see how i'm braiding it okay and then i just go ahead and continue braiding guys i'm not adding any extension any braiding extensions to this hair but yet i will achieve the boho goddess box braid and i'll show you how it is done so i go ahead and just um plait the rest of the braid to the tip and this is me now you know showing another um another box section box braid that was doing and again this also will be very slow so that to those of you that do not know how to braid you can actually learn from this okay so from the root you want to divide your hair into three sessions okay using your thumbs your finger um, um, index finger and whatnot and please make sure that you are holding your braid as tight as possible you can see what i'm doing with my hand okay if this video is still very fast paced you can still slow it down at your hand from your setting but you can see guys i am slowing like i am picking the braid gently and making sure it is as tight as possible to the roots yes you might not be able to maintain your hand in this format but you want to for the first like five to six braid make sure you hold that thing tight before you then change your hand just like this and then you can begin to braid by your side so that by this your hand is not pinning you and um you can braid faster exactly but you know for the first br um, braid um length for the single braids please make sure that you are you know the way i did my hand in the first place is how you want to do it so that the braid is actually very tight okay so that at least the braid can last you for three weeks at least minimum three weeks it can even last you more okay if you are not doing a lot of activities that makes you to sweat okay that kind of thing or your you know your new growth is not growing out so fast anyways this is also another um, slow paced tutorial just so you can see how i braid each of the single box braid guys if you're enjoying this video right now please go ahead and click the subscribe button please subscribe to my channel please 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 and make sure you click the like button of this video it helps this video to do well by youtube just recommending it to more people that are looking for this sort of videos thank you and guys after i have done the three section at the back i'm just showing you how it looks and yeah this is what we have okay then i went off um off camera to just complete the rest because i needed to be fast and recording video sometime <laughs> when you are doing your tutorial and you are recording yourself like braiding and recording it can be really really long so yeah sometimes we need to skip some of the processes but i came back again on screen to show you um the end of part this were just like two more braids that I was working on and i came back to record it so you can actually see how the front works now guys with braiding in the front part of your hair you want to make sure that you're placing your hand in the way you want the hair to fall i'll show you what that means and this is the last strand i'm sure i'm not the only one that really get excited when we are in the last strand <laughs> because you know how many hours you work on just making your hair by yourself but anyway so 
guys look at the way i placed my hand it's because i wanted the hair to fall towards that direction hence why i had to twist my hand in this manner yes please if you're making your hair for yourself even if you're making your hair for someone else you also want to take into consideration where you want that strand or braid to fall and that's where you actually place your hand so you can see what i'm doing here because i want the braid to fall towards that direction i actually made my hand towards that direction and once i'm able to get like six of the braid lengths in i then you know change my hand to a more suitable style that is easier for me to continue braiding the many strands and you know make it faster and here's the final result guys this is what we have okay this is the look all my strands on my hair. this is all my hair guys no extension okay yes we have long hair but this is all my hair no extensions and whatnot and yes guys i was feeling it i wanted to actually rock this look about like nah this is not the head go this is not the head go let me focus amazon they focus so this is the extension i use guys you can get any coily extension of your choice the coily hair that you decide to use can be human hair it can be fiber or blend it can even be synthetic but i got this one and i said to just spray it because coily weaves you have to be very careful so that um you know it doesn't really tangle so i sprayed it and there i was just checking to see how the length was going to look like <laughs> when i start to you know pull him my boho twist right so for some other people i know that you could have decided as well to also you know be braiding it in as much as you were twisting it but again i knew that this um extension that i got this curly extension was not so 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 durable as such so i didn't want to have my hair looking all messed up just within how many weeks i don't know how the coily strand would stand and i still wanted to use this hair for something else so i decided to use the crochet method now for the weaver you want to tear and um, cut out the where the you know the weaver things are joined right you cut it out you have like strands and then this is how you work you take your crochet pin and you begin to crochet the hair into each of the strands okay each of the strands guys you want your bow goddess braids you know look good and all crochet crochet each of the um twisted um into each of the coily ends into each of the strand now what i do also for the back piece like like what you just saw now you will see me again crochet another one just look at how i am doing it i sort of use different method for this i just go in put the crochet pin in the middle of my braid which is my own hair and then i just you know crochet in the coily strands into it and i lock it okay you want to seal it so it's not falling anywhere so you lock it just as i did and that's it guys you see more don't worry there's still other that um, other clips that will show you in slow-mo and this is what i got so at the back i was doing i was crocheting two of the coily pieces into one of the strands that's what i did for the back and all because it just gave me the length i needed and all but one thing i did was when i got to like the front section i began to crochet three of the strands into one single braid one of the um, braid box braid i crocheted three i crocheted three of the coily pieces into it reason being that i wanted the air to be full okay <laughs> i didn't want it to be so scanty i, I really wanted it wanted it to give like volume and whatnot so i incorporated that and yes the extensions the coily extensions i was using was enough okay you can go in and even crochet as much as you want if you want it very fuller if you also want it very you know slimmed out it's all left to you but this was what i did now this is the front section i'm just showing you again how i crochet and in the front sections i also decided to double tidy the twist okay because twist can easily fall out especially when you're crocheting so i decided to you know double tie it as many times as possible just so i can know that okay this is not going to fall up but let me tell you something guys even the one at the back that i just crocheted without you know single knotting it is still still to date like i'm doing this video this is like three weeks of rocking the style and yes none of this twist strand actually fell off i don't know how that happened but it did not fall off so yeah but again for more security and just so that you're on the safe side you know tie the knot as many times as possible you guys will see how again i just crochet this into the s strand and how i you know double knots it like twist it so that i'm well um, um secure that i'm well confident that it will not fall off If 
you are enjoying this content so thus far please kindly subscribe to the channel click the like button of this video it will help this video to do well and make sure you share this video with your loved ones with your hair stylist and everyone that it can be helpful to so yes guys i was done crocheting all the twist into each of the braiding hair and this is what we have guys look at the look at the fullness guys so i got my mousse okay and i decided to mousse it up again <laughs> it's coily hair so it will totally be fine just to it will also help in defining the cause of the coily extensions and just you know seal off everything you know after doing your braids okay <laughs> and then i used my hair spray to just spray to have some shine to eat and guys this is what we are having just look at the back of the hair my god it was so full <laughs> this is what we're having already i started thinking about styles of oh how do i want to style the hair when i want to rock it i was already feeling myself like i was already happy like what this is a look on a budget okay just look at that see transformation just a baby girl anyways guys this is how to actually get an expensive look on a budget okay yes extensions are expensive everything but you can still actually achieve a boho goddess box braid you know it's less budget okay so this is how to go about it and i hope this video was helpful to you i hope you did learn it in on two please if you'll be recreating this please kindly share with me on instagram tag me the amazon dev on instagram on tiktok on twitter everywhere just tag me okay i would reshare your pictures reshare your videos thank you so much for watching i will be seeing you in my next video make sure to subscribe make sure you like this video share it with your loved ones and i'll see you in my next one okay bye stay blessed